Why do these trees look like they're plugged into the matrix? While they might not be powering any sort of machine, they are powering your breakfast. You can find operations like this all over the Northeast. Vermont, however, is the largest producer of maple syrup in the entire United States, producing 2,550,000 gallons as of 2022, or enough to fill more than five Olympic swimming pools. But you can't talk about maple syrup without mentioning the countries whose flag literally has a maple leaf on it. Canada produces 85% of the world's maple syrup, or 11,300,000 gallons. It's wild to think that all this delicious syrup comes from a tree, but how do they do it? At the ripe age of 40 years old, a maple tree will be tapped from late winter to early spring and be expected to produce anywhere from 40 to 80 gallons of sap. And then at a sugar house, the sap is put into an evaporator which sits on a firebox called an arch powered by wood, oil, or gas. The evaporator is separated into partitions which flow the sap through different stages of the boiling process. Fresh sap goes into one partition, boils down, flows into the next chamber, and this process repeats all the way up until the final stage. In the final stage, the syrup will turn that golden color and it will be continuously monitored until its boiling point is seven and a half degrees above the boiling point of water. It's at this point the syrup has reached its proper density and it's ready for bottling. This whole process turns that 40 to 80 gallons of sap into just one to two gallons of maple syrup. Now my only question for you is, what are we going to put it on?